The first thing you would do in an exam room if you were a healthcare professional is you would stand behind the patient and then you would rub your fingers together softly behind their left and right ears, tell the patient to be looking ahead, and then ask them, did were you able to hear me when I was doing this? And if they can't hear it on one side, then that would lead you to suspect that you know there could be a problem here. This is called the whisper test, by the way. It's kind of the first pre-screening, I guess. Um, but basically, like if you're suspecting that they have some kind of hearing loss, that's when you would move on and do what is called the Rene test. And some people call it the Rene test. Um, and so what this thing does, you basically take your tuning fork, you can hit it against your palm, and uh, hopefully don't hit it too hard, but basically what you're gonna do is you will place the base of the tuning fork against the mastoid bone, which is just underneath the earlobe, and that is called bone conduction. And then once the patient tells you that they can hear it, you'll then move the tuning fork right next to their ear. And what a normal result or a negative result is gonna mean for this Rene test is that the patient will tell you that it's louder for them when they hear it right next to their ear than when they hear it through their bone. So that would be what you would ideally see as a good thing. If the patient is telling you that it's actually softer when you're holding it against their ear relative to when it was against their mastoid and you did it you know, pretty quickly thereafter, then that would indicate that there could be some problems with the actual ossicles or uh, something to do with an obstruction in the actual ear canal. So now after, let's say the patient went through this, you've just done your Rene test and you've checked to see if it was positive or negative on both ears, you then move on to the next test, which is called the Weber test, which tells you Weber or not, whether or not you have sensory neural hearing loss on one or both sides of the ear. So basically what you do is you take your tuning fork again, you hit it, and then you'll place it on top of the patient's skull just like this. And so ideally what happens in a normal patient that doesn't have any hearing loss uh, or sensory neural hearing loss for that matter is that they will tell you that this sounds the same on both ears when you're holding it right here because those sound waves are traveling equally down on both sides and equally loud and strong signals from both cochlea are being sent to the brain. So they're telling you that it doesn't sound any louder on either side. If the patient tells you during the Weber test that it sounds a lot louder on the right side than on the left side, then that would lead you to suspect that there could be some issues with the sensory neuron in the left ear, specifically that cochlea. So that is the key thing that you're looking for with these tests. And just to walk through a generic example of a case study, just to kind of hit on these points. So a patient comes in, they failed the whisper test. They're saying, I can't really hear that well in one of these ears. You're gonna say, okay, let's do the Rene test. You hit your tuning fork. You place it against that mastoid process. You hold it next to their ear. They tell you that it's louder when you're holding against their ear in both situations for the left and the right ear. So that means that the Rene test for both the left and right is negative, which is great because that's what you expect. But when you do the Weber test and you hit this thing and you put it on their skull and you ask them, are you hearing it louder on your left or right? And they say, it's a lot louder on my right. Then that indicates that they're likely having some kind of uh, sensory neural damage or loss in their left ear. So that's what you get from doing these tests. Hope this is helpful. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you guys next time. Please stay safe and take care.